Hi gang, here's a fun science experiment to do. It's called Hero's Steam Engine, and it's just that, a very easy to make steam engine. There are little jets of steam jetting out of it from two holes. Those jets provide the propulsive force. It's named after Hero of Alexandria, who described it as shown here in the first century AD. Here's how it's made. Take a soda can, one that's still sealed, and puncture it with a needle in the middle along one side. Be ready for a spray when you do this. Then turn it over and let it drain. Depending on what the soda is, shaking it might make it drain faster since it builds up pressure inside. There's a little left in it, but that's okay. Dispose of the liquid however you want to. Next, use the same needle to make a hole on the opposite side too. This next part is key. Put the needle back in and pull it down like this so that it's tangential to the curve of the can. The direction that the needle is sticking out is the direction the steam will be jetting out. So you also want to pull the needle perpendicular to the length of the can. Then rotate the can and do the identical thing for the other hole. The result is we now have a hole on this side that will make the steam jet out this way, and another hole on the other side that will make the steam jet out this way. To get our steam, we first have to put some water in the can. I put the other hole under the tap and let the water flow in. We don't need much, and in fact, less is better. Next, we need to suspend it somehow so that it can rotate. To do that, I get out this lamp and put a tie strap on it, then a fishing swivel, and finally a loop of string. I put that loop under the tap of the can, but make sure to not open the can in any way. The only holes should be the ones that I made in the side. Make sure the loop crosses this circle in the tab, since that's at the center. Time to get it working. You'll need a hot flame source. This is a small alcohol burner that I use with rubbing alcohol. I made it from two more soda cans and a little cotton rope. I light it up and put it under the can. It takes a little while for the small amount of water inside the can to heat up, but after around 30 seconds I get steam coming out the holes. Note that due to the way I made the holes, the steam comes out at an angle. And the reaction to the steam here is to turn the can this way, causing rotation. But even up to the point that all the water is boiled away, I get only this slight rotation. So I get out the propane torch for more heat. After putting water back in the can, I try again. After around 30 seconds heating it up, it starts spinning. Though it gets a little chaotic, so I back off. Watch out for the hot water flying out when the can is spinning too fast. From the top, you can't see the steam coming out. That's probably because of rising hot air resulting from the torch flame. But when I apply heat and remove the torch, you can see the steam come out briefly while it's still hot enough inside to produce steam. Well, thanks for watching. See my YouTube channel, Rimstar Org, for more neat videos like this. That includes one on using a microwave oven and a water bottle to produce a steam vacuum, another explaining what fire is, and one on whether hot water or cold water boils faster. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, share with your social media, or leave a question or comment below. See you soon!